You're going to love this. Instagram has finally done it. You can now post directly from Instagram on your PC or Mac. In the next five minutes, you'll be posting directly to Instagram from your PC. It won't be a hack, it won't be an app, it'll be direct from Instagram. Also, you won't just be able to post pictures, you'll be able to post videos as well. Let me show you how. Okay, start off by going to your browser. I'm at Google Chrome here. I'm just gonna type in Instagram and this is gonna take us to Instagram. Here, we click on this and it'll take us direct to Instagram on PC. Now I'm already logged in to Instagram. So if you're not logged in, all you've got to do is go ahead and add in your details here on your computer and then log yourselves in. Now, can you notice anything different right here? Something which was missing before maybe? Yes, that's right. You can see a plus sign and plus means post. So we can just go ahead and click on this button right here and you will see some options which we've never seen before on PC. Let me show you how this works. So let's say I want to add a new post. I can click on the new post option. Then it will give me this square here and it will say create new post. Then I can select from the computer if I want this to be a photo or a video. So I click on select from computer. Then I can go ahead, grab a photo and click open. Then you get your photo. Now you look at this and you think, eh, this is not exactly how it was before. Well, you've got an option to crop. So you can crop this here. You can go one by one, four by five, 16 by nine, or keep it as the original. So let's say I want to go four by five, which is a lot closer to the original photo. Then I can click next. Now I have the options here to add filters if I want to. I don't want to add filters. I just want to go to adjustments. So yes, you can adjust the photo as well. So at the moment you're seeing so far, Instagram has not held back on anything. So let's go through this. Let's go, let's say I wanna add it a little bit brighter and a little bit more contrast, saturation. Let's pump that up a little bit. And then I don't think I wanna add a fade or a vignette, maybe a bit more brightness. Okay, that's good. Now let's click next. So at this point, you actually have your options to write a caption or a description. And this is where, you know, you really want to add in something about this that people can read and see from the photo and some relevancy between the two. So I'm just going to add uh, graffiti in city, which is really basic. And then you can see I've spelled graffiti wrong. Whoops. And then at this point, we want to add in a hashtag. So we can go ahead and add in ash. We can go ahead and add in hashtags if we want. And then I can add in here things like emojis. So if I want to add emojis in, um, which lots of people do, I can do that right here. You can add in your location, you can add in accessibility, uh, and then you can finally go to advanced settings and some people may want to turn off commenting i don't want to because that's a good engagement and it's something that instagram encourage and then you go ahead and you click share and this will share it straight directly onto your instagram page so if i go ahead and do this now it's publishing this post to my instagram now there is two more options that you will notice when i click on this plus sign so let's do that new reel new igtv so you may be looking at yours thinking, where's my new real sign, Ben? I haven't got it. And the reason for that is because I use a free app to actually have this added into Instagram. If you want to know about that, it's completely free. There is no charge. So this is really cool, by the way. I've made a complete video all about this extension for Google Chrome. I highly recommend you check it out because it is going to help you with a lot of things in Instagram. You should be able to click it about now. It should be showing up somewhere around here then you'll be able to see that you can actually add reels completely free of charge from your PC as well from now on, which is great. Now, hopefully you found this video really valuable and helpful. It's great that Instagram have done this. And if you've liked this video, it would really mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button, 
Maybe leave a comment if you want to. I will happily come back to you after the video and help you out with any questions you've got. And of course, if you haven't yet and you like content similar to this or photography or video, please hit that subscribe button because we are a growing community of photographers and filmmakers here at Ben's Guide. We'd love to have you. Anyway, guys, whatever you do for the rest of the day, just make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.